hate myself, but I would date myself. Hate myself, but I date myself. Hate myself, but I date myself. Great, you decided to show up. Give me a hug. We've got a lot to do. I arranged this. I had to ask my mom like 20 times if you could come over. Like, I know I'm 26. That doesn't mean anything. Just sit there. But yeah, I totally just threw a bunch of sh stuff in the book bag. I can't swear. She'll hear me. A bunch of stuff in my book bag. And I'm going to give you the book bag to take with you on this date. So like, it's going to help you. But unfortunately, with like this whole thing that I'm going to be doing to you today because clearly we want you to look like you don't care even though like a long time ago there's this thing called reverse psychology that's still being used to this day but how do I, how do I explain this to you okay so when you look at a girl who doesn't care like a grunge girl who just acts like and it's, guys, too, it's all genders. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not dressing you up to be any gender today because you're yourself. And whatever you identify as, we get it, okay? So, and that's not disrespectful. That's saying, like, you know, you're yourself. We want the other party to know who you are by your expressions, okay? So, anyway... Usually, like, you know, the whole grunge scene, the whole girls back in the 90s, like, they acted like they didn't care, but, like, in reality, they were crying out for help, but other people didn't know it. It's like, now that it's 2017, we kind of are doing the same thing. Like, history repeats itself, only, like, we know now that they're, like, giving a cry for help. Okay, so, what I did was this whole book bag I filled with stuff I'm gonna dress you up in and like do your makeup and hair and stuff so yeah you're gonna be taking this smells like sun suntan lotion from when I went to DC last month but anyway it's holographic Which means you're still kind of trying to be aesthetic, but like, the whole thing with that now is like, it was relevant the past, well actually it's been like relevant the past like seven years, I don't know, but you know, Tumblr made a big thing about it, but like, I don't know, and then you want to say like to, you want to appear dumb, you know what, let me just show you, before we start your makeup and stuff. I wrote this list down for you. You can take um, crib notes too. Excuse me, like my nose always runs when I put like fresh makeup on my face, but like whatever. I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of the talking, but just sit down and shush. Shush, 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 shush. So yeah, this right here. These are not crib notes. Now, if you're wondering what crib notes are, it's something from Seinfeld and like whenever George was like writing down how to do like the spiral swirl or whatever or counterclockwise swirl okay it was Jerry's move to Elaine but then Elaine with putty and then putty was doing it to Elaine with a knuckle at the end so yeah you totally don't understand Seinfeld Seinfeld's my favorite show but it's cool you can act like it and then still appear like you're crying out for help so this right here real quick I wrote this down it says kind of aesthetic because that's what we're doing. You know, it's like history repeats itself and then you got, <sighs> let's see, I'm trying to like do this correctly, like explain this like good to you. Okay, so whenever the full aesthetic was going, we'd have the crop tops with the chokers. I don't have a choker for you today. I have a long necklace with a crop top that still has the, I'm kind of a 90s baby, but I really, in reality, have two kids and I'm married with a husband I'm unhappy with. So yeah, it's kind of like that. But as history goes down and another trend takes over, we kind of are in the gray area. So what I did for you was I kind of dressed you up aesthetic, only it's like we're getting into a new trend, whatever trend that may be. Like, do you get it? Okay, good. Okay, so 
the kind of aesthetic shit but still 50% shitty bands I wrote down for you today was Beck, Grizzly Bear. Well, Beck's actually really good, and so is Neutral Milk Hotel. I even starred those. Well, I didn't... Oh, wait, that's not the same thing. Okay, Neutral Milk Hotel, I starred it because it's actually a really good band. Just pretend that you know all the songs. Like, they're like this, like... You know, one of their most famous albums was in an airplane over the sea, so it's like, come on. Then we got Boards of Canada, Day Van Cowboy, Aquarius, um, things like that, An Eagle in Your Mind. Uh, great music. Just just pretend like you bring Boards of Canada and Neutral Milk Hotel. Grizzly Bear is okay, but it's kind of like I'm really depressed and want to commit suicide, but at the same time I don't. Do you know what I mean? I just don't like their music, but it's okay because most people will still act like they do. So yeah, Beck, Grizzly Bear, um, what is this? Native Korean Rock, Boards of Canada, Flying Saucer Attack. I just put that down because I looked it up on Wiki and it sounded cool. It was like a list of lo-fi bands, but the only two I really care about here is Neutral and Boards. Um, Beck's okay and Grizzly Bear is okay, but the only one I really don't know is Flying Saucer Attack and Native Korean Rock. So yeah, okay, and then I have the look stupid, I have a bunch of tips for you, because like I said, it's still 50%, like we're still doing the thing, so, you know, look stupid, Ugh, my mom's like making noise, I really gotta be quiet here, look stupid, because you are, okay, you're really not stupid at all, you're actually a beautiful human being, but we don't want them to know that. Act like you dig conspiracies, even though you know nothing about them. Like, conspiracies are all the rage now, and even though, like, the mass truth is being exposed in your face, and you really don't give a shit about it, you need to act like you do, okay? Act like you like Zelda. Aesthetics goes back to 8-bit. Okay, so, the new Zelda Breath of the Wild game is, like, all the rage for some reason. Like, it's okay, but it doesn't, like, nearly go to any of the stories from the past Zelda games. And this was my first Zelda game, and I even know that. But anyway, Zelda's, like, the number one 90s, you know what I mean? Start. I mean, there's Mario, and there's Sonic on Sega, and stuff like that, but, like, it really goes back to, like, Zelda. So, just act like you like video games. Zelda's this little green, it, it, just think of fairies and stuff. Okay. Eat a ton. Don't binge. Eating disorders are frowned upon. Now, I mean nothing for that. I grew up with, like, tons of bulimia. It's very serious. It's not even something to talk about. But, unfortunately, we're going off of, like, an app because everything, unfortunately, is on social media. So we want to go with Tumblr and stuff like that. And on Tumblr, for some reason, we're still glorifying girls who are, like, 20 pounds, which is nothing wrong with that either. It's like body positivity is in all forms, but... We're not glorifying, nobody wants to glorify a mental illness, but I have like a ton, but I don't want to glorify it, I just want to make people aware of it. Do you get it? It's like, I want people to get better, but I'm not making it like anybody should ever start that. Okay, so, so don't, don't get all upset, I didn't mean anything about that. Okay, <clears throat> so just eat a lot. And then the last one is act like you love anal. Okay. That was a new thing for some reason to bring up, even though it's been, people have been doing it for centuries. Like, it's funny because even back in the biblical days, you know, the Christians, so called Christians who like love Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Meme. But anyway, they're like, oh, you know, it's only between a man and a woman. Meanwhile, their, their escapes through that, it's like Catholic priests who touch little boys. It's like little, you know, in the Bible, it's like a man and a woman, and a priest can't get married or anything like that, so they go to little boys because it's not listed in the Bible. It's kind of like the same thing with anal. It's like, I don't know. But let's get to the makeup since we're like 10 minutes into me just babbling, babbling, babbling. But I'm giving you tips, okay? So you either take it or leave it, all right? I'm going to go through the makeup kind of fast because I have to do your hair and dress you, so... a TJ Maxx for $12. It's an Anastasia contour cream kit in deep and I thought that 
since we're like trying to look like we need attention, although we really do want it, but we're kind of putting it, it's reverse psychology, okay? It's like making you look like you don't want it, but you don't. Um, I thought the deep color would look really good on your face, so I grabbed it. I was like, this is perfect for the next time I see her, even though you just called me, or I just called you over here in the past, whatever. All right, this is the stigma to everybody's light obsession, and it's the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. Actually, um, the Moonshot palette from Anastasia is what I would be using today, but whatever. I'm just dumping makeup out one by one. I have a weird powder brush I'm going to be using on you. So basically, like, I just have a ton of stuff that, like, I have, like, one of each. Like, I have this primer, but then... It's like, I have this primer, too. So, you know what? We're just gonna start and then go from whatever, okay? So, it doesn't really matter what I put on your face in reality. Um, this is pore minimizing. This is a perfecting base, which is a smoothener. They're both silicone, they're terrible for your face, but like I said, we're matting you up, kind of like I matted up. And then we're just gonna apply like a ton of this Kat Von D um, holographic palette, like everywhere, like, I'm gonna show you something right now, real quick. We're gonna make you look all, you know, I love conspiracies and anal sex, but in reality, you don't care. So, okay, you see my lips? I put on this really crappy matte, um, you know what, I have it, right here, LA Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick, which is really interesting because it mimics the same as a NYX um, lipstick, only it's just sticky a little bit because they put actual glue in this stuff, so anyway, and it's impossible to get off, like this stuff is impossible to get off, so yeah, okay, so you put a coat of this on, right? let it dry because you'll stick and then pick a color that kind of matches it for the top for the cupid's bow like this pink opal okay so you see it all right excuse me all right watch this you might not be able to see it in the light because this is an old coat but what we're doing is we're highlighting the upper lip making it look like we have full lips when we're actually just natural people human beings that just look like humans we're not you know and then we're gonna take like a Let's see, I thought maybe the ultraviolet, if we're trying to get a lot of attention, or the blue sapphire, we'll do blue, just because it's a natural color. And then here's the blue. Okay, so do you see what I'm doing here? I'm bringing all the attentions to my DSL, if you don't know what that stands for. It has to do with the A word from the back here. Okay, so yeah, just look that up. You know what, at the end I'm just gonna apply a fresh coat anyway on my lips and show you, but this is what we're doing. All right, we're just putting makeup on to make you look good and then we're just ruining it with a bunch of highlight. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna use, um, I'm just gonna use this Milani stuff, whatever. And then I'm gonna put what I don't use over here because you have to go after this anyway. What time are they gonna be here? Yeah, so we gotta hurry up. Okay. Just a little dabble, do ya? And for everybody of my friends who keep commenting on me and telling me like, oh, you always say dabble, do ya? Like they always text me, they're like, why do you always say that? It's not because I smoke dabs, okay? No, I actually watched One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Jack Nicholson, um, he, in the movie, was like, a dad will do ya whenever he was trying to defend himself that he touched kids, so. But anyway, she was 15 going on 30, doc. <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, the lighting might make this look terrible, but actually, it's kind of what we want. Oh, I'm really sorry I started touching you without asking, like, is it okay? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna be doing it anyway, but. I'm just going really fast with the primer because like it's supposed to smooth over your face all on one even coat and if we go too slow 
I'll be, you know, taking my time with other stuff like your eyes, but we don't want to go too slow so it becomes uneven, you know? Okay, okay great. So we'll let that set a second and let me just keep ranting and drinking my coffee. But yeah, when I was younger, like, my bulimia was so bad. And anorexia as well. But my bulimia lasted for years while my anorexia lasted for about a month. And the reason I can use those words with that situation is because I'm intelligent enough to be able to understand the signs, but I just couldn't see it back then. I used to wrap a belt around my waist to try to pop fat cells. Don't ever do that. It doesn't work. It's not even a real thing. I don't know why. Like, we used to put saran wrap around our waist thinking we would lose weight. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump you there. And we would, but it would be water weight and come back like two days later. It's like, it's sad that we try to make ourselves out to be something we're not, when in reality we're so beautiful anyway, you know? Okay. So I brought two foundations today. This is dark. This is light. Um, I know for your skin color I might need a little darker or lighter. I don't know. I mean, I'm really just not good with makeup. I mean, you could be pitch black, pitch red, pitch purple, and I would bring you, like bright orange or you know fluorescent who knows well, we're gonna be putting that shit all over your face soon anyway so which one do you want me to use this one's liquid this one's matte they're both gonna come out matte anyway because they're made well this is Maybelline this is L'Oreal but okay I'll use this one then because it's darker and we're gonna put like well we're not putting the choker on so I can't really match the foundation but that's okay so I'm going to grab that, I'm also going to grab the concealers that I brought, and then we'll use that brush that I have for the powder before we put on the eyelid primer. Okay. So the reason I'm using my hands to put your foundation on today, usually I would use a beauty blender, like something cheap from the dollar store, because for some reason everybody spends $20 on a brand name other than just the really... But actually those sponges are a little bit different. I'm sorry for ranting, like I'm so sarcastic today, but I guess, I don't know, I'm just really down lately, and sometimes when that happens... Shake well, apply to finger. I'm so dyslexic. Shake well, dispense to fingertips, apply to face. Okay, this thing has like a... But anyway, the reason I'm putting it on with my fingers today is because I'm trying to make you look natural, but at the same time, make you look like shit. Okay, so. This I'll take my time on. Yeah, we're just applying. Okay. But yeah, ever since like marijuana has become a medicine, everybody's like not glorifying it anymore because it's not going against the government. It's like people want to safely go against the, the government. Do you know what I mean? It's like they kind of want to break the rules by like downloading music that doesn't belong to them or they didn't pay for instead of like actually making a difference in life. So. I'm going to just dab this all over your face and then just dab it over. Like, I'm gonna like dab it on your face and like stipple it because I'm not trying to rub it in like in circles because that'll make it uneven, okay? It's like we don't even have any human connection anymore. And it really does bum me out, you know? Like, you've been my friend for how long, and we've been connected for how long, and we have this relationship that I feel like it, I can tell you everything, and you can tell me anything, but at the same time, it's like we're only telling each other this stuff on computers, and that's it, so. All right, now I'm just gonna stipple this, but I'm glad you come over, because you're my best friend, and I love you.
Okay. Perfect. Now we will do the concealer. I'm just looking to make sure. Okay, so I have two concealers now. Since I put like dark foundation on you, I want to put like a light kind of undertone because like we're going to highlight your face and then contour all around it. Not like the natural kind of contour, like the contour I have. It's like I want to make you appear that I have like deep cheekbones when I really don't, but well, a little bit. And that, no, never mind. Okay, so yeah, this is like real dark. I mean, we could actually use this to cover up any spots you have, but your skin is already perfect, so I don't know why I'm piling this on you in the first place. But again, it's kind of like double reverse psychology, so we'll just use this one, alright? My mom won't stop making noise, I'm so sorry. She's letting the dog out. The dog's like about to die anyway. I'm kidding, I love my dog. <laughs> but okay. This is like the roller ball. Just look up. You're like looking at the side. Like you're irritated that I just said that. I would never wish death on an animal. But my mom's dog is so old though. Well yeah, it would be considered my dog too. It's just, I don't know, I'm more of a cat person, so who cares. All right, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing I've been doing on your face this whole time. I'm just gonna dab, 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 whatever. But yeah, can't you tell that I like overdid my lips like completely? Like I totally don't really have this curve on my upper lip. But I did have this guy one time in 2010 when I was on a bunch of like opiates and stuff, which people were glorifying drug addiction to, which is just so exciting. But if they knew the true statistics of how many people die of overdoses every day, then like maybe they would stop, you know? But anyway, he was like this guy and he was so cute and he played guitar and he wrote me this awesome song and like this was at the time that I was trying to like admit that like I just only liked boys but in reality I was like extremely bisexual and really just wanted to be in a relationship with a woman but anyway um so this guy wrote me this song and he used to in the lyric he was like the curve of your upper lip <laughs> I was like what I was like no like you're making a song for a person who's literally like garbage but anyway it was really sweet. So, remember earlier when I said I'm just gonna cover your face with crap, more or less? Oh, great. This broke, but that's okay. It's perfect. So, this is actually a highlighter. It's a real cheap drugstore highlighter, but it works really good. Like, you can compare it to uh, Bare Minerals. It's like glow something. This is the same exact thing, and it shows up the same exact way. But anyway, for pale girls like myself, I need to use powder. I can't use cream highlight because... You can see the shine on my pale ass skin and most people don't realize that and they're like why do people use powder blah 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 so anyway i'm gonna be applying this pretty much everywhere usually um like you would use this as like the highlighter on like your upper cheek or whatever but i'm gonna be using this because it's kind of like a powder or something or other for your it's to set your face so you don't smile and show your natural creases because God forbid we want to look like our age instead of little girls, you know? Or guys. For some reason, we glorify the, uh, um, what do you call it? Younger generation, but whenever most people say that, it's like they're glorifying the child generation. It's like, okay, we don't want lines to appear on our face. We want to appear young. But I mean, even teenagers have lines on their face. Why are we shooting Botox in our face to look like we're 12? It's pedophilia. It's a form of it, though, you know? So anyway, this brush, like I said, I got it real cheap. I want it like two bucks or three bucks. Super soft. Yeah, real soft. Okay, so I'm just going to brush this color right here, like under your eyes right here so there's no oil right here because you can see there's oil on my face showing up already over here and up here too okay Just 
blowing my bacteria on the brush. You know what's funny though? It's like usually everybody's so careful and I'm always so stupid with that. I'm like, why are people so careful? And I always used to, I'm just putting this on your nose now, so just, but anyway, I was like, it's so bad to blow on, or it's so not bad to blow on brushes, right? So there was this, I mean, this really doesn't have to do with the brushes, but I learned that maybe it is a good way to take precaution. This one time, okay, so wait, hold on one second, I'll just, because I'm going to tell you what I'm doing next. All right, now I'm going to put the, remind me to tell you that. I'm going to put this eyelid primer on you, and then we're going to do your shadow, and I'm going to use one brush for it. Usually I would use three, a base brush, a crease brush, and a lid brush, which you could use the base brush, and that's why I only have one. And then I have three palettes, and then I'm just getting the mascaras and eyeliners out. So just actually hang on real quick because I'm messing up real bad. Okay, I'm just going to put that all under here so we could do this all in one fell swoop. Alright, perfect. So real quick, I'm going to put the eyelid primer on you and I want you to choose a palette. These are all like smoky palettes. Um, again, I'm going to just cover up with a bunch of highlight anyway. Like, the light might not be, hold on. Sorry about the crow's feet. Don't wanna appear natural, you know? That'd be stupid. But see it, like, since I'm so pale, you can't see the Kat Von D colors. But the whole reason for the smoky is I'm going to apply like the, um, sorry, there's a hair. I'm gonna apply the highlight on like the inner lid and the outer lid, but I'm still gonna make you look like you're going out for like, to get a train ran on you kind of, you know? So pick one of these. These are all like kind of samples, except for this, I got it at TJ Maxx. You can always find really expensive brand makeup at TJ Maxx, because anything damaged, even scratched, they send there, or throw out. But Ellen Tracy, um, I kind of dig these colors because, I mean, one of them is matte. Matte, 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 everything matte. Um, I've used this for years. This is real old. It's called the Revealed 2 Palette um, Sampler in Sunset. And then this is a Smash Smashbox um, Sampler. It's a quad. A quad. It's a triple stack. Whatever the fuck. I don't know. I've done too much accents. That's why I said triple stack. But dark brown. I like these colors. How about I use these colors? Because it will be easy to put the highlight on. Yeah. Because I mean, like, there's too much shimmer in these and if I use that on your face it's gonna mix with the highlight shimmer you know and then this right here is just years old like it's just bacteria infection speaking back to my story so yeah I'm just gonna put the primer and apply the colors and then we'll get to the highlight on top but uh I have this Morphe palette that was donated to me from this girl she's awesome she's from Florida her name's Amanda and uh I kept it with me for months and whenever I moved, it was unused. I think there was like two colors that were swatched, but so when I moved um, to this like really crappy place in my town because I was like broke for a while, that's why I'm back at my mom's, but uh, okay, just close your eyes. Um, I stored the Morphe palette in the basement and um, we had two floodings, like it rained a lot and I swear our basement was up to like our waist in water. And the palette was in a storage bin and the water seeped in but it didn't get to the palette. But there was a lot of moisture and a lot of humidity which caused mold. So, you know, next time like I have it, I'll show it to you because I saved some colors but I haven't been using it for this reason. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna apply this base, this in the crease and then this in the outer crease but it's not gonna be all over because I'm using the other palette. So anyway. It's just funny because there was a ton of humidity. So when the water went down, we salvaged as much as I could. And I was like, I'm not getting rid of a Morphe palette. God forbid, spend like 40 bucks on something that you can easily get dupes of at the drugstore, right? So um, as the months went on, I kept using it. Like I even used the color that you could blatantly see like water damage and mold growing on the corner. And I was just like, oh yeah, we're just going to blush this into my eye. 
and then one day I woke up with brain fog and if you don't know what brain fog is and I think this I mean it's not the main reason for it but my eyes felt real swollen and when I got them checked I was told I had an infection and they said have you been using any old makeup and it just made perfect sense go ahead and close your left eye but yeah so literally just change your makeup every I mean they say like change your mascara I think every two years I'm not sure you're not supposed to blow on brushes because it's bacteria season, but I promise we've shared so much more than that. Just, I brushed my teeth, but I'm not justifying it, so, okay. Next, I'm going to use this side and just brush this color into the crease, um, in the, just in the center instead of the outers because we're using that, remember. darker color I'm going to apply in the center of your under eye okay and then we're gonna apply the highlight around that just make it look all fuck excuse me all messed up sorry mom <laughs> okay so there's that palette and let me just brush that off on my mom's pillows okay now since I use dark on the lower of your eyes, I'm going to use the brightest color to bring that out and make it look like crap. So the pink opal will do for the lower, um, this part of the eye. And then for the top, since I used the lighter color on the lid, I'm going to use the darkest color on the lid over it, which will be the um, ultraviolet amethyst. And then I'm going to use green emerald for the outer corners. And then blue sapphire we're going to apply like on your lips. And then for your highlight, after I do the cream contour kit, I'm going to apply um, pink opal on your cheeks, and it's just going to be a big cluster freak of everything, okay? Alright, so yeah, where was I? Okay, we're going to apply the blue violet, ultraviolet on your lid first. Okay, so... In fact, I'll do swatches for you after this of just how potent this stuff is, which is like unfortunate for people like me who am so pale where you can't appreciate that kind of highlight you know it's like my eyebrows it's like it looked like whenever I was doing it in the giant bright ring light that I filled in my brows correctly but I guess on this side I did not if you guys well if you ever seen the room remember that movie <laughs> I did not hit her I did not okay anyway Oh yeah, and you don't want to be like me and be cringeworthy. God forbid you be yourself, you know? Okay, and then this pink opal on the bottom on each side. Just look up. Okay. So where are you guys going? And then the green emerald on the outer. What do you mean? Bowling? Why would you go bowl? Oh, it's just a suggestion. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, oh, you're asking me if I- No, you should not go bowling. You wanna go sit at a pretentious coffee shop like Starbucks. Um, that's basically where the other group of people are, the basic white bitches, they call them. That's where they hang out. But nowadays, it's like, I don't know, like the aesthetic thing, you know, when it was going on like full swing, people were going to places that nobody else knew about because that was the thing. It's like to appear like you have a personality when you really do, but you, d like I said, it's reverse psychology. It's like you don't, you want to appear like you have a personality when you're really fake, but you really do have a real personality under that fake personality you're trying to portray as no personality. Do you get it? Okay, so we got all this there. And then, you know what, oh, while I'm here, I'm just going to highlight your brows. Um, Alright, here's the swatches. Let me just do the swatches. Okay. Okay, how do I do this? Yeah, we'll do it like right here. Alright. No, that's terrible, because look at the way it shows up here compared to my skin is so damn pale. Let me see if I try it up here. Hold on. No. Okay. You know what? 
I have an idea. I'm gonna put it on my fingers and then you'll see it through that way, okay? So my pointer finger is green emerald, my middle finger is ultraviolet, my whatever this finger is, is ring finger is blue sapphire, and then the pink opal is my pinky, okay? Yeah, see how potent that is compared to my pale ass skin that doesn't show shit? Look at that, literally, that's the green emerald. And then on my finger, you see that? I promise this stuff is potent. In fact, I can give it to you if you want because I'm just so tired of being somebody I'm not and you shouldn't either, but again, I understand you asked for this and I want you to be happy because no matter what, if I don't believe it's a good decision, I'll tell you. And it's not like I'm saying it is a bad decision, but I'm just looking out for your best interest and yeah. Okay. So yeah, now we're going to do your liner and your mascara. Sorry, I'm trying not to mess up my matte lips. Like, I really do care about you, but if you like a certain style, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, okay, you know, if you wanna impress them, whatever. All right, so I have a couple different things here. All right, we're done with that brush, get that out of here. Well, we're done with it for now. But okay, I'm going to make you look basically fake, right? So um, instead of just doing what I do, which is just line the top and like bring out the wing, you know what I mean? I'm going to line the bottom, the watermark of the eye, and that's gonna bring out all the shitty highlighting palette that I just piled all over your face, okay? And then I can either use the They Are Real Benefit Liner, and it's like a gel, it's like a, I don't even know how to explain it, it's kind of like a gel, but it's a real dark liner. Or I can use this really fat, type liner tip. See how thick it is? And I'm still going to give you a wing, but either way, it's kind of just saying I want to, you know what? Yeah, we're not using the benefit. We're going to make you look as out there as possible. And then for the mascara, 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 I have this Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl, and the reason I like this stuff is because the brushes are really tough. You know what I mean? And it's it's pretty dark, but we're kind of bringing, you know what, I'm gonna use this because I didn't even open this yet. But this is Blank Black Lash Primer, Jet Black Volume something, I don't know. But I'm unsure if the brush is the same and I'm not about to push air down into my, haha, <laughs> I'm not gonna push air down into my bottle because I, I wanna see something that I already know is gonna look a certain way on you. Okay, but yeah, oh, my new tattoo totally dry. I need to put stuff on it. Yeah, I'm finally getting my mistakes covered up, you know. The stupid tattoo, the whole ohm thing. It actually works, but I'm tired of glorifying it, so I want it covered up with just plain flowers and black. I'm gonna save this sunflower and then everything else on my arm, except for the LSD and mushroom tattoo, is going to be covered up in black, all different types of black and white flowers. And then next month, I'm gonna get all this shaded and then I'm gonna get ASM artist right there on my arm but I thought I'd show you that I didn't think I showed you that last time all right so first things first I was warming this up in my hand while I talked this is a Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner pen it's really good it's like a gel almost and it goes on look how like real smooth like some high-end makeup is actually really good and I've always loved Marc Jacobs because he has extremely shitty tattoos and he's still himself and he digs fashion like he knows how pretentious it is okay so just look up because I'm gonna line the waterline now and then on the left perfect so that's done and then now I need you to stay very, very still, okay? Just extremely still, as still as you can, all right? Yeah, keep your eyes like kind of close, like, like that kind of like. <laughs> oh, 
I was shaving my face for a while too, which don't ever do that because it appears to grow in thicker when in reality it's just growing in the same way, only it's growing in a different direction, which whatever direction you shaved. So like, if you look real close, you can see all my peach fuzz like growing in like wildfire, like, all right, now just keep your eyes, like I need you to tilt your head back and put your eyes down like this. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the wing now. There was this really good tutorial online the other day of this girl doing a hooded eye wing, and it takes a long time, but I've mastered mine just for the fact, I mean, they may not look good, but I've mastered on doing it on a hooded eye um, since I was 14 because I've done it so much, right? I'm just filling that in. But uh, you put a line like where the hood is and then you match it. It's like literal geometry, like she, she literally bombed that in a good way. I'm doing the wing first before I... Perfect. And last but not least, your mosquito, 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 mosquito. Okay. I like how I talk blatantly about pushing air into this thing, but... As you could have told the first time that I showed you this brush, it wasn't black like it is now, okay? This isn't even a black, it's like a... It's like a crappy gray. I don't know, maybe it's just from having it like for like seven years. Okay, just look up. No, I'm kidding, I've only had it for like three. Okay, keep looking up because I'm gonna brush underneath your eye, okay? Perfect. Yeah, hold on. Okay. So now we're going to actually do your brows before we do the contouring because I gotta figure this out. Alright, so I wanted you to look natural because it's such a backwards thing, okay? You know, my brows, they're kind of natural, like, you can see, like, the hair kind of ends right here because I always shave off the tails, but I've been trying to let them grow in lately, excuse me. But anyway, I'm going to make, excuse me, your brows look really natural. These aren't natural, this is like, I'm gonna draw these on and, like, you can see the difference from this one to this one, like, this is all, like, nicely on and this is, like, I'm going to just try my best to get this done in a period of time that I don't have. All right, so this is basically the brow define and fill. It's gonna look like this, only you're still gonna have your hairs up, so. It's like a light brown. Okay, this is missing, but it's okay. And then the end's like a powder. But remember I highlighted your brows with uh, the palette? I'm not gonna do that with this. This would have been the highlight to use and then this is the brow pencil it's kind of thick this is a blonde and this is a dark brown because so it kind of goes with all skin tones even with those who have black brows it kind of you know massages that so okay yeah we'll use this and then we'll use the powder over with this one okay so you can even see there's still like a little brow hair on there okay all right i'm gonna do your right one first Filling them in instead of kind of outlining them, if that makes sense, you know? I think that's the quietest I've been this whole time, huh? <laughs> Alright, and then like I said, this is just like a like a powder kind of, you know what I mean? I'm so pale, like, I don't know why this is happening to me. I'm literally turning into non-existent. Like they used to call me a glow stick whenever I was in high school because when I'd be in a bikini, you could literally see, you do have dandruff here. Yeah. It's from dry shampoo. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in your brows now.
then your left. So we're getting there, we're almost done. Okay, so here's the fun part. The contour cream kit in deep. We got nude, coral, cinnamon, chocolate, espresso, and carob. And what I really kind of do sort of appreciate with this is that for like black women or whatever, like very, very, very dark African women, forgive my ignorance if I'm not saying it correctly, um, smells funny. I heard that Anastasia really does go above and beyond to make sure that the colors, but honestly, I've seen women's skin way darker than this, so this, I hope that there's something other than deep, you know what I mean? But for you, we're probably going to use, what would that be, cinnamon. Because your skin, yeah, see, that would never look good on my face. I, oh god, oh god, I'm digging into the colors with my nails, oh god. Okay, we're really messing up here. But that's okay, because that's normal, but we don't glorify that anymore, so. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna use cinnamon on you, and yeah, there's no highlight here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub my finger in this. Oh goodness, sorry, see my phone there. And I'm just going to just swipe like a phone right under your cheekbones so go like this go and then i'm also going to do the bridges the bridges the bridge of your nose which is like on the side here and i'm also going to do some under here because it gives you the appearance of big lips i mean god forbid you show your real lips but yeah um right under here and then i'm kind of just gonna smear it up and i i think i taught you before the forehead five head technique if your brows up to your hairline is four fingers or more you need to contour your forehead if it's not then yeah you don't and then your jawline to make it appear like you have a smaller face okay but in your case since we're using so much highlight we're not gonna do the jaw all right are you ready are you doing this just digging into this contour palette with my nails oh my god all right now we're doing your nose stay very still for this I'm not trying to mess you up any more than it's your life okay and then the other side okay and then I'm just gonna do under your lips so just go just go And then I'm going to use the rest on my finger and then just smear up. So I'm going to actually wipe a little bit off because I just don't want to waste. Alright, so. I'm just smearing up from here up. Okay. Down, 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 down to the right. No, I hate that song. Okay. So there's that. Let me just. Yeah, do you like that? It's like $19.99, then it's like $15, then it's like $12. Like, it's so funny. They're like, we don't want this here anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to blend that. I'm just kind of letting it sit in your skin real quick to warm up because when you put makeup on your skin, your natural body temperature is going to heat it up. I actually put my Kat Von D foundation in between my legs in the morning time, not in there, but in between my legs, and then I cross my legs because it warms up the foundation. Then when I put it on my skin, I give it like 30 seconds because then it heats up there and then it's like pretty much goo, like matte goo, you know, whenever I put it on my face, which makes for an easier application because I keep my air or my room cold dead winter. I'm like running the air conditioner. So like all the makeup kind of really hardens up a little bit. So we don't want that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna smear that in, okay? Just kind of pressing down like a... 
kind of thing. It looks like I literally have child feces on my on my hand. Okay. You don't have to do this anymore, but just relax. But yeah, when you're really careful with stuff like this, like you put it on warm, like the application goes on so even compared to just a cold, you know, kind of clumpy, uneven mixture. So I'm just massaging that down. I'm not doing your whole jaw because again, we're putting highlight there so it's gonna make your face appear bigger anyway. I'm just kind of massaging it down in here. Do you see where the shadow naturally meets like right here? That's because of contour, but it's also because um, of the lighting. So when light directly hits your face, it's like, where do you see the shadows? It's like you see them here and under here and over here. Maybe not right here as much, but it's pretty much what we're doing, okay? Okay, and then I'm just massaging up the forehead. And then on the bridge of your nose, usually I would use a brush and go very carefully, but again, we're making this look like it's kind of natural, but it's not, you know. Okay, perfect. All right. And then under your lip, I kind of already blended that whenever I started, but... Great, so now here's the best part of this whole thing, which is the highlight, because I'm going to be smearing this all over your face. All right. And again, it's like the aesthetic that it's coming down. So it's like we're still kind of, kind of trying to appear that way in case it's relevant. And if not, you know, you get it. All right. So, and the blush thing, since I'm putting so much highlight on your face, there's no goddamn way I'm putting that much blush on. All right. So with the highlight, again, I'm going to be putting this over everything, but... I need, with your skin tone, since you're not like super, super pale as me, this Becca liquid highlight will stick on your face good. And we kind of need like a glue-ish base because of this shit um, of how much I'm going to be putting on. So I did the swatches for you. Now this is the Becca um, highlight and it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's the pressed powder. I thought this was just a, like watch my skin. It doesn't stay I see that just looks like extra contour which I really wish I wouldn't have just done that at all but whatever I guess right okay so yeah I'm gonna be putting I'm not even gonna be putting this on I take it back I'm gonna be putting the liquid one on and this is a lot brighter like I don't even need this like I'm gonna be eventually giving this away but here's a little swatch and with my pale skin this should show up pretty nice See how that kind of shows up pretty nice? It's light enough to show up. Okay, so I'm just going to be applying this above the contour. And for pale girls like me, like, I have to highlight before I contour because you can see the line over there. Like, there's no blending with girls as pale as me, so. All right, and for you, I'm not going to be highlighting your forehead or your chin or anything because your face kind of resembles mine in a way. Like, my chin kind of sticks out, so I don't need to make that appear like, you know what I mean? Or the forehead because I have this little bump right here. So I'm just going to be doing your cheeks. And I don't know why people to this day highlight the tips of their nose because it makes it appear bulbous. But we're going to do it for you anyway because, I mean, that's all the rage. So whatever. We're making you look like the things you don't really want but want everybody else to want from you. Okay. So I'm just applying that there. Then above the lip, the cupid's bow. Because, again, I'm going to be putting the lipstick on. And I'm going to be doing the bridge of the nose. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I have this. Or this. Well, I do know why I have this, but... Alright, now I'm just going to brush that down the same way as I did the contour, okay? Sorry about that fucking crow. We're almost done anyway. I just got to do your hair real quick, and the crimper does the hair very super fast, so. up here. Okay, and then the 
quicker than it was. All right, so while that sits, I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna be using. So since we did like a kind of deep contourish, we want something to make that, you know, fall into the face, whatever, I don't know. So for that, honestly, I was going to use like the blue sapphire, pink opal, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use the green emerald. And if you don't remember what that looked like, it looks like this. So it kind of makes you look like you dig aliens. Again, the whole conspiracies. You want to make it appear like you care when in reality you do care and that truth that you're hearing is actually probably true but in a dumber down form. It's like the YouTuber Kendall Ray. It's like she always constantly talks about how she like loves aliens or whatever, like wants to know about aliens. But in reality, like she mentioned Dr. Stephen Greer in one of her videos, which is like one of the most intelligent um, uh, releasers of the truth ever but she kind of made it dumbed down as if he was just small in that speculum like no like if, if she only knew but she yeah it's like she doesn't care but anyway okay so that was just a little shade for the day and yeah I'm gonna put the green emerald I mean she's a great person otherwise I just really don't like the way that she puts it on her videos okay so I'm just like I love her personality I think her and I suffer through the same things, but I really just don't like the way she presents her videos. That's all. Okay, so we got that on the top, and then for the bridge of the nose, I'm gonna use blue sapphire because it's a little darker than this, but it still won't make your nose appear bulbous. Okay. So we're gonna do the lips now actually, so I don't know why I just put that down. All right, so for the lipstick, I have two matte colors. We're doing a light matte color since we're packing powder basically all over it. Again, these are just LA Color Matte Liquid Lip Colors and they're not gonna come off, so make sure you choose wisely. So for your eyes, I did like a darker mixed with the highlight and if I would've done a lighter, I would've recommended this, but I'm actually recommending this. It's the same color I'm using on my lips and I'm gonna apply some right now to show you what I mean. This is what I'm doing to your lips, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to your lips, and then we gotta let this uh, dry. Don't worry, I haven't sucked any. All right, you're good, you're safe. Okay, so. And go like this, just go. <laughs> just open your mouth. Okay, perfect. So just let that dry and then this should be dry now. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so. Since my lips are like dark pink right now and then they'll fade out whenever they dry completely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply maybe, you know what, I'm going to do green emerald on the bottom and then just do the, or you know what, I'm going to do amethyst on the bottom and then green emerald on the bow. Now watch. Alright, so we're going to apply a little bit more there. Okay. 
Oh wait, oops. I think I applied two different colors. Alright, so whenever you look at me, it's like, oh wow, she has highlighted lips. She has like really cool lips. Holy crap, how'd you do that? I can't believe it. Okay. And then on the top, as well, actually I was gonna do blue, but I'll do green. Green emerald just on the bow. Okay, I put that way too high up, but that's alright. I can just wipe it off since I'm so damn pale. And there, it actually naturally highlighted my bow. Okay. You see what I'm doing here yet? I'm making you appear like you have huge lips, but it's still highlighting your natural features like your bow right here. All right, so for you, since I did dark, we're gonna keep your lips light. So I'm only gonna use pink opal on the top, like in the beginning. And then um, I'll do green emerald on the bottom because it's dark, but it's still not bad, okay? So let's see. And then on the bottom, we're doing, what did I say, green emerald. Okay, so I just, sorry about that. Okay, and then just light, light. face is finished. Now usually I would use like a setting spray but I'm not gonna do that today because as the night goes on it's kind of like your natural self is going to reveal itself over time. Sorry I itched that and I noticed that I scratched off like a layer of foundation but that's okay too. Alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get your hair stuff ready. I'm gonna be giving you huge crimped hair okay like crazy. This stuff it's dry shampoo, your hair's clean, but when you spray it in, it gives like a natural volume kind of thing. So we're gonna do that. And while the crimper heats up, I'm gonna dress you real quick. So here's the crimper. The waves are a little bit bigger in this one, but that's okay. Okay, so there's that. And then um, after I'm gonna spray this like kind of hairspray in it's like a, it's called mineral prep rough me up you actually spray it before you style but I'm gonna spray it after because it still acts as a hairspray it just makes your hair kind of crunchy like okay like I took time on my hair but I still want to appear like trash you know so yeah it's saline infused spray it's salt and salt actually dries out the hair but sometimes it really does give you that natural beach wave because all beach waves are are, you know, salt in your hair, causing it to look crazy and terrible, but for some reason guys find that sexy, and girls, I don't know, I find all women sexy, so it really doesn't matter, all colors and stuff, all genders. And I got these cute little clips that you're actually supposed to put on, like, Doritos when you're done with them, but I use them for my hair, but yeah. And then these are the necklaces that I brought you to match, it's like a little fake ass crystal from Walmart because, you know, crystals are all the rage these days, but if people really knew the healing aspects and properties of them, wow, things would be different. So let me just plug this in and then we'll dress you real quick and then I'll prep your hair to style it and you'll be ready to go. So I'm going to let that heat up. You know what? Move all that makeup out of the way. I'm going to actually prep your hair first. Or wait, I need something over here. Hold on one second. Okay. So I'm grabbing the shirt that's going to match your thingy. We have a good problem and a bad problem. I don't have a hairbrush, but that's fine because like I said, we're making your hair look kind of crappy, but it's always good to use your fingers. And this right here is in case you get cold. 
So even though it's like 40 degrees outside, I have, well, I know you have them, those booty shorts that I lent you a couple weeks ago, did they end up showing your, cr okay, good, you, okay, perfect. So anyway, um, even though it's 40 degrees, I kind of recommend it because it has, um, I bought them at American Eagle for $60, but they had all these like hand crappy painted things on them when in reality I could have bought a pair at Goodwill or Salvation Army to actually donate to the people who need it and then like painted it on myself but my lazy self was like you know what I need to validate this as I don't care when I really do so that's what we're trying to do again reverse psychology so wear those and then this is gonna either be if you're cold which I know you will be but you don't want to appear that way wrap this around your waist this is actually a large a men's large like this is uh, my ex-husband's at the time and then just wrap it around tie it but again the reason I'm giving you this is because it's gonna match the crop tops that I brought today so just pick which one you like but I'm gonna put this over here so let's prep your hair let me just pull it forward a little bit All right, so I'm just gonna lift up pieces and spray this in, okay? okay. And then the back. Let me just pin the first lower half of your hair. I'm just gonna like part it here, lift up. Since we don't have a brush, I'm not gonna part in the middle and then do it. We're gonna kind of make you look like Debbie Thornberry because your hair naturally matches it anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna, sorry about that. Okay, there's one and then there's two, perfect. All right. So while we do that, let's dress you first. I have three crop tops I brought you. Now here's the original, everybody obsessed with aliens when they really don't know the truth even though it's in their face. Um, this pink crop top, somebody awesome bought this from my Amazon wish list for me and I was like, oh my God, thank you. But they never came forward so I couldn't thank them in person but I really appreciate it. I actually wear this all the time. But uh, yeah. So we wanna, again, give the I am like 12 years old kind of pedophilia um, aesthetic, but you know, um, God forbid we act our age. So yeah, this is a crop top. Obviously it'll go with the high rise shorts with those fake painted things on it. And then you got the little alien tag on it. And it doesn't matter if you're a little bit bigger than me or smaller than me, we want your skin showing, okay? So yeah, we just wanna make you look really young, so. You can pick this one, and you can tell you're going for the young aesthetic because it has the rim on it. So yeah, there's that one, and then we got the second one, which again is not acting your age. This one says killing it. This was on my wish list too. Somebody bought these in a pack, I think, which I was really grateful for, and I wear this one actually more than the pink one. It's a little bit bigger, but it's a crop top, and it just has a simple phrase on it that just real thin aerial letters because I mean for some reason all the things back in the 90s including the really ugly looking fonts on like word are being used again and who knows why but that's what's on the shirt it's like a bold italic well not italic well I guess kind of it's a bold aerial font so what do you think there's this one and the necklaces that I brought, again, I'm not gonna give you the I like anal choker because the necklace actually, you know what the crystal says, I'm still mysterious and I probably would try it, but in reality it really hurts. But after a while you kind of like it. So, okay, there's that. And here's my personal favorite, which I made myself from a $7 shirt at Walmart. Um, it's a crop top and it is all the 90s characters. So I think this would kind of fit the whole look we're giving you today with the highlight plus it would match that plaid or plaid shirt very well 
So it has Reptar, Ickis, um, Crumb, Chucky, I forget her name, um, Umbrelia or whatever, Tommy, Ren and Stimpy, Rocco, um, Arnold, Gerald, the pig from Arnold, Filbert, um, Shiitake Mushrooms, what's his name? Why don't I know his name? There's what, Heifer, Heifer, and then who else did my name? Spunky, India, that's about it, I think. I think I named them all. I just keep forgetting her name. It's like I'm really, I don't even know. But yeah, I suggest this, so how about this? Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll do that one. Just throw these back. And remember, I'm giving you this backpack too to take with you, so just make sure you bring it back when you're done. I'm trying to itch my nose like I just snorted pills because ugh, the foundation just never seems to stick. All right, and then There's actually like two necklaces here, or three, I think there's just two, but okay. We're going to definitely do the one with the crystal, but I'm going to ask, because we're trying to make you look as extra as possible here, kind of. So, hold on, this is really tied on here. There we go. Alright, so this there's this one from Walmart, again, it was on clearance for like a dollar with this fake crystal that kind of looks like it's mimicking rose gold with the rose gold necklace, which actually makes your skin green and smell because it's not real. So we're definitely gonna use this one, but if you wanted to match this one together, I can make this longer to go with the shirt, so. Kinda looks like the end of a mop, like the one from Beauty and the Beast. So we could kinda make it look like this, you know? Yeah, you'll do that good, perfect. Okay. Let that hang down and then put this other one on longer and then just like kind of let it hang down that way. Perfect. Okay, so you're all dressed. Throw this on, by the way, <laughs> and then the blue plaid. Just wrap that up with, okay? So I'll just put this here and then you can change it. All right, we're ready to crimp your hair. Are you ready? And then you'll be good to go. I'll spray that stuff in and you can get going because I know we're a little bit late here. All right, so. Okay, so there's the first side of your hair. Now I'm gonna do the back, okay? a little bit. Okay, so now put that down and then let me, let me drop something. All right, now let me get the clips out on the first half and then brush that down, bring it forward. Okay, great. And then we'll just do the top and you'll be good. But overall, are you excited to go on this date today? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just don't want you to think that you have to look a certain way. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't. All right, let me get the back. I'm going to bring it forward and then do it like this. Like, this is all fake. Like, if life, like for example, the floods in Texas right now, like, people have to be themselves because 
they don't have the time. They're too worried about rescuing the people they love, you know what I mean? And people are coming together and getting rid of their differences to save one another. And then there's people in like my town who just try to be as fake as possible and don't realize and forget human connection, you know? So yeah, like you just need to be yourself. If we were all ourselves, there would be a lot less depression and anxiety in the world, like let me tell you. Okay, so your hair is done. Let me unplug that actually. Okay, put your hair up a little bit. Alright, so I am going to then again spray this matrix rough me up salt spray. Okay, I'm gonna cover your eyes, okay? Smells so good. Like, holy crap. Alright, so you are absolutely all done. You're ready to go on your date. Just change or whatever, unless you already did. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. And then I'm going to give you this to take with you. So let me just zip it up. Well, I'll zip it up a little bit. That way you can just go and figure out what you want to throw in it. Preferably condoms, because at least we're still glorifying safe sex, right? Like, Okay, good, yeah. And remember, if you are gonna kind of do it, like, do it after the front, okay? Yeah, all right, so. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, does it? Because even if you're a girl and a girl and a girl. But yeah, take this with you. Oh yeah, and this too. Remember, don't let him see it, but if he does, you can kind of brush it off as like, I'm, I was just trying to impress you, which you kind of are, but you know what I mean? So, let me put this in here for you. And yeah, you're all ready to go. And I just want to let you know that this is all fake. And it's not real. And in the end, you kind of are going to have to be yourself in those last moments. And it's going to be like, do you really, did you really want to be like that back then? Or do you wish that you would have just been yourself and seen where it goes? Because fear kind of keeps all of us in our little bubble, you know? So consider that before you go. But anyway... You know I love you. Give me a hug. <sighs> I'm really happy we got to spend some time together today. I'm sorry for being so sarcastic and rude, but I really love you with all of my heart. And I just want to see you happy, you know? So yeah, I will talk to you soon. And just call me out after your date. Like, just try not to wake up my mom if she's asleep on the couch down the street, okay? Or downstairs. All right, I know you gotta go. All right, I love you. Bye.